Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Fools Long Guide called C for Competition which wants you to own and drive the 1953 Jaguar C-Type to complete all the challenges with. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Now this is the car in question, the 1953 Jaguar C-Type and it will set you back 5 million credits from the auto show if you don't own it or you can also pick it up from the Forza Thon shop. Talking of Forzathon, I've created a tune for you guys to use called Forzathon. Share code is 173-654-636 and that is available for all of you guys to use and it should hopefully help you out, especially with this first challenge which wants you to reach a speed of 120 mile an hour. So to do this I recommend going on any sort of long straight road such as the highway or one of the many drag strips and just keep going until you hit a 120 mile an hour. As soon as you do it will then pop up with challenge complete and you can move on to this next one which again is super easy wanting you just to take a photo of the car so obviously we all know how to do this hit up on the deep pad then hit right bumper to take a horizon pro mate quick shot and come out and that's the second challenge complete moving on to the third and final one here it wants you to earn six stars at any speed trap now the great thing about this is there's loads of speed traps to pick from i picked a slightly peculiar one paso inferior now three stars on here is only 105 mile an hour or two stars is 80 mile an hour it's one of the lowest speed uh, traps or high scored speed traps on the map uh, in fact i think it is the lowest one so it's super easy to do i know what you're thinking rear wheel drive on dirt but it's actually not too bad if you get decent enough run up it's very easy to get three stars and then of course you only end up needing two runs of three stars um, or three runs of two stars it really doesn't make a difference and it really won't take that long i think all in all it took me about a minute and a half to complete or get six stars or the equivalent of um, on this speed trap compared to the others where you might need a much longer run up because it's a much higher three star score it's just so much quicker and easier on this one like i said it's slightly unconventional but it's still easy nonetheless anyway guys i hope this challenge uh, this guide sorry did help you out with these falls on challenges if it did i'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like and if you're new to the channel subscribing massively helps me out as well um if you're struggling with anything then please do let me know down below in the comments of course i'm always happy to help but apart from that folks i want to thank you very much for watching make sure you stay safe and take care